Hello, this is today's experiment. We are going to make and cure concrete cylinders and beams. And the ASTM designation that is going to be used is ASTM C31, which is related to the making and concrete, making and curing concrete test specimen. The main purpose of it is to determine how to make and cure concrete cylinder and beam specimens. And the main significance and use of this is to, um, uh, is to standardize the requirements for making and curing Portland cement concrete test specimens. Specimens can be used to determine the strength for mixed design, quality control, and quality assurance. So it is like multi-purpose. It is something that is going to be multi-purpose. Uh, for the apparatus that is going to be used, we are going to use uh, uh, slender, and we have standard slender. So the slender first, it should have some characteristics. S cylinder molds made of steel, this is important thing, or any other non-absorbent and non-reactive material. The standard specimen size used to determine the compressive strength of concrete, this is the standard one, as, as you can see it is 6 inch diameter and 12 inch that is the height of it. So this is for a maximum aggregate size up to 50 millimeters. Okay, 50 millimeters. And smaller specimens such as 4 inch by 8 inch high are sometimes used, but they are not ASTM standard. So remember that well. We have two different types of specimens. One is 6 by 12 inch, and the other one is non standard, which is 4 by 8 inch, and we are going to use 6 by 12 inch. Okay. For the beam molds, then we're going to. Uh, the beam molds made of steel or another non-absorbent as we said non-reactive material several mold <coughs> dimensions can be used to make beam specimens with a square cross section and span three times the depth so these are the main things three times the depth uh, uh, the span is three times the depth the standard ASTM inside mold dimensions are six by six inch I think this is we we have it in our lab it is available in cross section and a length of not less than 20 inch so this is the standard one six by six and the dimensions and the length is 20 inch we need tamping rod with a length of almost 24 inch we have it actually diameter of over 5 8 inch and rounded ends we want a moist cabinet or room with not less than 95 95% uh, 95 relative humidity and 23 plus or minus 1.7 Celsius temperature or a larger container filled with lime saturated water for curing so we have two things here for the curing uh, moist cabinet this is number one or room with not with not less than 95 percent relative humidity okay and the temperature almost like 24 for example or large container filled with lime saturated water for curing and this is actually what we are going to use we need large container filled with line saturated water for curing this is what we're going to have in our lab and the last thing is the miscellaneous items including a, for example vibrator scoop and trowel the test procedure that we're going to use here uh, these are the test steps that we're going to use uh, first is we are going to uh, weigh the required amount of coarse aggregate fine aggregate Portland cement and water. So we're going to have the coarse, fine, cement, water, cement and water. Mix the materials in the mixer, so we're going to weigh them for first. Mix the material in the mixer for three to five minutes. If an admixture is used, it should be mixed with water before being added to the other materials. Okay. Check slump. We can make the slump here, air content and temperature of concrete. We need to, we can check all of them now because we have the material weights, then we can obtain the air content and the other issues or the other characteristics of the mix. For the case of the uh, slender specimens, place concrete into the mold using a scoop or a trowel. Fill the cylinder in three equal layers and rod each layer 25 times. Tap the outside of the cylinder five to ten times after each layer is rotted. This is using the mallet. Strike off, and then we're going to strike off, very similar to what we have done in the slump. Strike off the top and smooth the surface. Vibrators can 
also be used to consolidate the concrete. This is one thing that we want to do instead of rotting. Vibration is optional if the slum is between 25 millimeter to 75 millimeter and is required if the slum is less than 25 millimeter. So we need to make a slum test first, but maybe we can skip this point or skip this and we can go directly to making the concrete uh, slender. For the case of the beam specimens, grease the sides of the mold and fill the molds with concrete in two layers. So we're going to make it in two layers. So remember well, in case of the cylinders, we are taking like three layers here for the beams. It is going to be two layers after greasing the sides. Consolidate the concrete by either tamping each layer 60 times. Remember, this is 60 times, not 25, until uniformly distributed throughout or by vibrating. After consolidation, finish the surface by striking off the surface and smoothing. Okay, so you can see here. These are the things I want to, to show it to you. This is actually some picture of what we are going to do in our lab today. These are the cylinders over there. So you can see these are the cylinders here. And this is how they are, you know, making it. And this is the case for the beams. They are doing it, uh, as we said, into two <coughs> different, putting it into two different layers. This is making the beams, as you can see. They are making making it here and this is using the screw and putting inside the beam and here this is the beam molds we don't have something like this but we have something else steel it seems to be i'm not sure this is wood or something but actually it's supposedly to be as we said steel steel or non-absorbent material okay number six cover the mold with wet cloth to prevent vibration so we're going Remember, this is we're going to cover the mold with wet glue to prevent vibration, evaporation, and then remove the mold after 16 hours to 32 hours. It means that we are going next day. We need to someone should come and remove the mold after one day. Cure the specimen in a moist cabinet or room at a relative humidity of not less than 95 at a temperature of 23, or by submersion in lime saturated water at the same temperature. So we should cure it. So we should put it, okay? We should uh, cure it or put it in, as we said, cure the specimen in a moist cabinet or room. So we put it in um, a container that is uh, f uh, uh, filled with lime saturated water, okay, at the same temperature. Uh, we need to have some precautions so that it, it would be clear for us whenever that we are going to make this experiment. Segregation must be avoided, of course. Over vibration may cause segregation. So take care of your vibration or vibrator. In placing the final layer, the operator should attempt to add an amount of concrete that will exactly fill the mold after compaction because there is some compaction there. So we want to make it whenever that we're going to strike it off, we want the surface to be smooth. Do not add non representative concrete to an underfilled mold. And number three, avoid overfilling by more than six millimeters. So try not to make any overfilling. Then the last thing is the report mix, record mix design weights. This is uh, something that we want to do. Slump, temperature of the mix, and air content. These are the things that we're going to do. Specimen type, number of specimen, dimensions, and any deviations from standard preparation procedure. Include this information with the report on the strength of the concrete uh, later. Actually, this is the case where that curing concrete slenders in lime saturated water. So if we have something like this, it can work well with us. A container filled with water and we put the specimen in it. This concludes actually the um, today's experiment. I hope that we can do it in a right way. Thank you.